Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 blog. Today I did a quick video because I had a comment from one of my subscribers about something that I said in a video where I discussed my fourth and final loading dose. I made a comment that spin rosin should be at room temperature before doctors inject it into your central nervous system. So what I did was I did a quick PowerPoint presentation where I listed a couple of points that we all need to be made aware of before we go into any of our spin rosin treatments. So take a look at this quick PowerPoint presentation and I'll come back in just a moment and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so these are two important facts that I think everybody needs to be made aware of before going in to any of your spin rosin treatments. And it doesn't matter if you're going in for your loading doses or if you're going in for your maintenance doses. Tip number one, spin rosin needs to be at room temperature before being injected into the central nervous system. When I went in for my fourth and final loading dose the other day, the nurse called the pharmacy, and when she spoke to the pharmacist, even the pharmacist was unaware of this fact. So when the doctor came in, I spoke to him, and before we began the procedure, the doctor checked the FDA website to verify this. And sure enough, there was an article that stated that Spinraza needed to be at room temperature. I went out to drugs.com, and that's the image that you're seeing on your screen. I'm circling the fact that this is a true statement. So make sure that your doctor is aware of it. Tip number two, your doctor should withdraw five milliliters of CSF or cerebral spinal fluid and check it before preparing the five milliliters of Spinraza in the syringe that they're gonna be using to inject it into your central nervous system. The warning states, if your doctor prepares the Spinraza before withdrawing the five milliliters of CSF or cerebral spinal fluid, and then they experience problems accessing your central nervous system, Spinraza only has a four hour window before it either needs to be injected or it must be discarded. So again, looking back at drugs.com, I'm circling the fact that this also is a true statement. And I will provide the link to this article in the description of this video. So please make sure that your doctor is aware of these two facts. Now I wanna share a couple of notes. The first note states, some doctors may get offended or feel challenged when you ask them about the protocol procedures that they're gonna be using. But if you have a good doctor, most doctors will not get offended because they know that their best patients are those that are educated about how the procedure should go. So let your doctor know that you've done your homework and I think you'll find that your doctor will probably be appreciative of the fact that they've got an educated patient. The last note that I wanna share with you is that you have every right to ask any question or questions that you want to. Remember, this procedure is happening to you, not to them. And if your doctor gets angry or offended, get another doctor. Do not let any doctor or any facility intimidate you into making a bad decision. The last thing that I want to stress is that you are in charge. Exercise your right as an educated patient. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. God bless you. And until next time, bye-bye.